Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session uh, now we are uh, going towards the different type of uh, uh, the aspect that is the offset training and the team development and uh, in this case uh, uh, we will be discussing about does your team need training right offset training lecturing audio video techniques simulations case studies role playing business games field trips is there and the pros and cons of the offset training uh, offset training and the team development experiential team building games uh, and as usual the research paper case studies and the book recommendations uh, will be there and then they will be given these references also so you can make the further uh, references uh, uh, for your detailed understanding for the things we have to learn before we can do them, we learn by doing them, right. So, that is uh, Aristotle, that is a uh, learning by doing. Hmm? So, we, this we have talked in the previous session also, always, always that is the we have to learn uh, wha what we can do, right and, and we learn by doing them. So, therefore, the both things are very, very important are there, that is the uh, uh, un unless and until we do not learn, huh? we can do them, right, but uh, how to learn? So, that is by doing only. Uh, now, uh, uh, I will say that is the whenever the team is formed. So, we are matching the teams uh, uh, personality traits uh, uh, the skills different skills. You know? So, uh, that is the job knowledge skills, HR knowledge right uh, then conceptual, analytical nowadays analytical and uh, uh, specially the designing. Now, whenever we are talking about the symptoms of the ineffective teams, right. So, this will be the technical grievances or complaints, this will be the HR, evidence of hostility or conflicts among HR confusion about the assignments and the relationship is there. Hmm? So, it will be technical plus HR decisions misunderstood are not enacted right. So, therefore, conceptual uh, apathy and general lack of interest. Hmm? So, therefore, HR lack of initiative innovation or effective problem solving that is the analytical and the designing skill is there. So, if you are not able to make the proper uh, uh, this uh, analysis of your problem, then there will not be the problem solving will be not be possible. So, this an analysis and the designing, designing means what? Providing the solution to the problem. So, whenever you are giving the solution to the problem, then uh, in that case, uh, the you will be having the effective problem solving is there, right. So, we, we have seen uh, by the different authors uh, and uh, different uh, contents, ultimately it is a solution finder. So, are you here to create the problem or here here to pro provide the solution? So, naturally we are here to provide the solution. So, we are here to provide the solution. So, but sol a solution to find out it is not that easy no. If it is that easy then there is no problem, but the not getting the solution is a problem. So, if the problem has to be so there so solution is required. So, then in that case it, it is the creativity. So, therefore, for some people the big problems are no problems, for some people the small problem is a big problem. So, why it is so? It is because of the their inefficiency to not to be having these designing skills, design, designing right and therefore, uh, it is the creativity skills, designing, designing is not uh, the cup of tea of everybody. 
So, this is therefore, in that case some people were able to find out the solutions. So, uh, even even in the toughest time, in the toughest time they will come out uh, uh, a simple example, if an organization is not able to survive, what will be the solution? Either the closed organization, right. So, there will be many people who will say the closed organization, but some people will say the diversification of the business. But for the diversification of business, money is not there. That is why this organization is getting closed. Then how to manage the money? So, outsourcing is to be done or creating the knowledge based organization. Because you are not having the money and then you have to uh, 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 run the organization, right. How will you run? By your tacit knowledge, right, your explicit knowledge, your consultancy, right. So, then you will not having or the outsource right and then somebody is uh, having these uh, uh, the support uh, that is called the co-optation collaboration uh, uh, with others or uh, competitors even competitors in the economic recession uh, in 2009 i have seen that is this co-optation collaboration with the competitors means the industries of the same nature they are collaborating right so therefore in that case uh, uh, when when we talking about uh, uh, these uh, uh, idea idea with uh, uh, the video uh, 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 video con or when we are talking about this uh, the orange orange with idea and in then, then the sharing the geographical locations are there where they are working together and sharing the resources so therefore in that case that is a problem solving is there in the economic recession so many many organizations uh, they had the collaborated and they have the ideas that are in, in this tough time how we can work together. So, that is called the co-optation is there or the collaboration is there, right. So, here it, it, but what is the what was that? That is the they have come out with new new ideas and the face the economic recession. So, therefore, in that case this is a solution is this. No? So, uh, high dependency on the leader uh, is this uh, uh, of the ineffective team is there. So, if the ineffective meetings are there, um, there is a lack of initiative innovation or effective problem solving, then, then our high dependency on the leader, whatever you will say we will do sir, whatever you will uh, guide that will be follow sir. No you have to do your own in your own uh, periphery. It is not that it is crossing the periphery and taking the position of a leader. There will be few like this, <laughs> I know that, but it, it, it is becoming the very important that is a high dependency on the leader is not to be there. So, therefore, uh, symptoms of the ineffective teams uh, uh, which we have talked about. Uh, so, it will be very, very important that is the uh, what is to be done. And the one of the solution is this that is about uh, the training. Now, the off-site training or off the job training, hmm? off the job training methods are conducted in a separate environment. No, no, uh, no, like uh, you are uh, uh, the studying this particular subject. I am sure uh, that is the uh, most of you must be the working executives or the uh, um, professionals, right? Maybe the professional qualifications you want to get and you want to go into the profession naturally, and that is why you opted for this particular course or my another course is that is a training of trainers is concerned, right? So, therefore, why? So, there is an offsite training, of the job training is there. So, therefore, you are having the already certain tasks to do and therefore, in addition to that may be the your education, may be the your job, right. So, therefore, you want to go to get trained through these particular courses. So, like this, this is the of the job training is very, very important is there. And this and actually this is a separate environment is there from your regular environment, you know. So, study material is usually supplied and the full concentration and learning rather than the performing is there. So, offsite training usually include more general skills and knowledge useful for work as well as the job specific training is there. So, whatever I am talking to you, uh, I am not talking to you definitely the specific with your job but in general. So, therefore, of the job training is in the classroom training is where they are talking about the uh, in general uh, training is there. So, if uh, uh, you know how it is done lecturing, audio video techniques, role plays, field trips, case studies, business games and the simulation is there. 
Now, the lecturing is concerned like we are do, uh, doing. So, trainer communicate with spoken words which they want to training to learn. It is primarily uh, the one way communication of the uh, learned capabilities from the trainer to audience is there. It is a verbal presentation for, for a large audience. So, therefore, you find by, by the one lecture, you, there are the number of people, those who are getting benefited and uh, they are much more. Uh, the lectures have to be motivating and creating interest among trainees. I am sure that is the by this uh, studying this leadership and team effectiveness, uh, you must be find it interesting and uh, this lecturing method uh, which might have be helping you uh, to your understanding and uh, the purpose. Uh, for which you are uh, attending this particular course that has been served by. So, nowadays speakers also promote some way of the interaction by the audience usually in form of question answers which are preferably assignments and all right taken at the end of the whole lecture and then uh, those who will be registered they will be giving the examination also. I hope most, most of you will be registering for this particular course uh, for examination and at the end of the different sections within the lectures are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, the, this lecturing method, but you see every method is having its merits and demerits is there. So, it reinforces trainees credibility and authority. So, that is you know you uh, learn from professor Rangnecker uh, and uh, through uh, NAPTEL uh, uh, course. So, that is uh, creating the credibility is there. Information is concentrated and organized as desired sessions are designed as per the um, best possible way efficient and simple. So, lots of material can be presented within the given time is there, can be personalized uh, easily. So, therefore, there are different contexts are there where you can find out that what is useful for me right that, that way one way you can find out. One way communication with relatively less participation or the passive participation is there right. So, naturally that is I am having the uh, just uh, addressing you through this video lectures is there. So, there will be the passive participation right and the attention span of listener is normally 15 to 20 minutes we have kept it uh, to the 30 minutes. So, therefore, because we believe in you and uh, we feel that is the you will be uh, able to so, we uh, listen me you know, for half an hour continuously. Uh, however, you have that option in online that is the after 15 20 minutes uh, you can pause and then again you can join. Uh, depends completely on trainers effectiveness and the information is there. A clear and rigorous verbal presentation requires a great deal of preparation and in time consuming preparation is there. So, you will appreciate that is your all 60 sessions which have been uh, uh, prepared with the help of my research scholars and these uh, different literature, secondary data, primary data with those references right that that has been the been useful for you is there. Second is the audio visual techniques is there. So, overhead slides and video is there like uh, online training uh, the lecturing is done through these partic particular videos is there. So, videos can be used for improving the communication skills and customer service skills right that you can use also listed how procedures can be followed hmm? and it is normally used along with the lectures as I mentioned that is it is a combination of lecture and the uh, videos is there. So, to show the trainees real life experiences and the examples. Uh, uh, which we are um, giving uh, and sharing with you with the uh, with the help of uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, 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 this uh, uh, case studies. You know? So, therefore, they are the uh, case studies are not the stories, case studies are the real life experiences shared by somebody and published. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is becoming the real life examples that is how in a particular organization what is happened, how it is happened right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, it is uh, like here you see it is uh, every room at uh, IIT Roorkee has been shown that is uh, how it is there. How, uh, however, um, uh, the, the, the technique which we are using right. So, therefore, you are uh, you are comfortably online and then this tough time uh, 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 when this uh, course is uh, uh, recorded. So, therefore, you can see uh, where, uh, hopefully when you will watch uh, this video there will be no tough time third wave will be over and uh, everything will be normal, uh, but uh, then uh, it will be convenient will conveniently you can refer right. So, but this is an example that is the how these lectures and the through with the help of the videos lectures are used, but again no method is uh, complete it is having the merits and demerits. Uh, 
So, trainees can review slow down right as I mentioned if uh, you hear me for continuously 30 minutes so great of you, but if you cannot so after 15 minutes uh, you can review or slow down and uh, speed as the lessons according to the expertise of the trainees and the uh, times are available to you because you may not have even the at a stretch uh, that much time, but this will be available to you. It can be watched multiple times. So, in the um, first uh, instance if it is not that clear you can uh, repeat it right and then uh, can understand uh, the, what were the points, uh, uh, what are the points uh, which you want to uh, uh, again go into the listening uh, for the purpose of understanding. It gives exposure of the equipments. Uh, so, you, you, are, you are tech savvy right and your, your young generation is the definitely that is much more tech savvy uh, than uh, me. So, therefore, the problems and events that cannot be easily demonstrated right exposure of the equipment. So, it is equipment malfunctions angry customers or the emergencies are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you can make the use of this particular audio video techniques are there. So, you can handle it later on, uh, but too much content for training to learn I, I do not know, uh, but uh, I am sure that is this is not the too much content, but yes if you will go through the different videos then definitely it will be too much for you um, by the different uh, speakers uh, and resource persons. Important learning points of training can be confused by drama in, in the video right. So, therefore, many times uh, uh, that might be the confusion, but yes you have the opportunity to get clarified from us. Uh, overuse of the humor or music is there, so I do not know uh, that is the I have used, but many times uh, it, is, it is the means basically it is a sound or noise that, uh, but uh, thanks to the IIT road key that they are having a such a uh, wonderful uh, in infrastructure arrangement, so that uh, there is no such uh, this type of the music or any type of the problem is there. Now, it is very common is that is about the simulation is there and in the simulations it is the aim to educate and inf uh, now you see it is in the professional courses this simulation has become very popular because one is that is it is interactive. So, it is not that lecturing method right. So, therefore, aim to educate and inform in an exciting and the memorable way and rather than the purely to entertain is there. It is used to teach the production and process skills as well as the management and interpersonal skill is there. So, therefore, in that case whenever you are having this type of the simulation. So, uh, uh, you you, uh, you will be improving your uh, efficiency you know, by production and process skills right. So, there but uh, uh, simultaneously with the technical skills and job skills you will be also be able with the help of the simulation to develop the interpersonal skills is there how that is it is having the group activity basically right. So, you are having the teams and in teams you are doing that simulations right. So, on teamwork also there are the number of simulation games are there uh, which you can use. Training can concentrate on learning without involving much risk is there right and uh, interest and motivation are high as the, uh, 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 job conditions are duplicated. And this method of uh, helpful in cases where uh, on the job training might result in a serious injury and the destruction of the valuable equipment and material is there. And so, like the aeronautical industry is ex one example has been given for the simulation right game. It is an expensive method right because the that sim, buying the simulation game is expensive. need constant updating as new information about work environment is obtained. So, whatever the simulation game you were having in the past that you cannot use for the may, may, may not be useful for the your next uh, task. The case studies involve the studying cases from all perspectives. So, I am thankful to uh, my team, uh, my uh, PhD scholars uh, uh, and research scholars, uh, those uh, who have helped me, uh, the Rahul, Mohit and uh, uh, Nilesh uh, uh, and for the and the Anjali uh, uh, about the analyzing the various options available to the company for solving problems. So, we have they have given you these uh, different uh, case studies uh, and we with, uh, uh, with our team uh, we have decided about the relevant case studies with the uh, relevant session and addresses issues and arriving at the most suitable answers. But again this method is also it promotes analytical thinking, it is acceptable to everyone as it deals with the detailed description of the real life situations are there, it encourages open mindedness. So, therefore, uh, uh, everybody can have the answer uh, uh, on his uh, the own way 
uh, own way means of, of his own uh, knowledge background, uh, uh, academic background, uh, social background, economic background, technological background especially. So, therefore, in that case the case study will be analyzed uh, as per the individual's uh, open mindedness. It may suppress the voice of average trainees as only those having analytic and vocal skills will dominate the session. But suppose we have the discussion on the case study. So, naturally those uh, in the classroom no, normally what happens that is uh, those who are the good orator and uh, good presenter. So, the what they do they dominate the whole class naturally uh, they will be heard right. So, those having analytic and vocal skills will dominate the sessions and the preparation of the case involve uh, expenditure and time and the outcome is not quite certain is there that is whether it is really useful or not. Role play is there. Trainees act out roles given to them in uh, these all uh, training techniques we have used in my that uh, NPTEL uh, lectures uh, uh, TOT I will advise you to please go through that uh, the training of trainers course uh, uh, that uh, you will uh, see that is how these techniques have been used. Mm, cover topics like employee employee relationships, hiring, firing, conducting at a post appraisal interview is there. So, trainees participate in entire proceedings and so they take interest or involved. It develops skills in applying knowledge in areas of human relations. It brings about desired changes in behavior and attitudes as the trainees are there. And these are the demerits for the role playing is because role playing is very, very interesting. So, they will be the case study, they will be the characters and the characters will be to be played by the somebody. And then uh, during my industrial training programs also I see and in the MBA classroom also uh, education class within the classroom also I find that is a real role playing is really motivate you people those who are participating in this type of activity. The trainees may deviate from the subject being discussed in, this is a demerit and start giving unrelated examples and explanations are there because now, now he has to play the role. So, in that role playing he may be deviating right. It, it will it will depend on that particular individual uh, whether he is playing the role uh, correctly or not. These are the business games together and analyze information to take uh, decisions are there. Uh, so, business games are primarily used for the management skill development and stimulate the learning because participants are actually involved and because games mimic the competitive nature of business is there. So, the game helps a dealer to develop skills needed for the business success. Uh, participant must work as a team, cohesive groups are developed and the uh, factual information cannot be taught through this particular training is there. Now, this is the field trip is there, uh, training in the field is journey by a group of people to a place away from their normal environment purposes to provide real life situations and the merits field trips provide the accurate information about objects, process and systems in the real settings. Uh, enthusiasm for the field trips can be effectively transformed to effective learning. Uh, field trips provide students opportunities to utilize all senses for learning is there. Uh, Demerits time consuming, careful planning required, transportation can be a problem, it is risky for the management is there. Uh, so, therefore, uh, this type of the uh, uh, in the, these professional courses, the uh, I, I, uh, I have organized this type of uh, uh, these uh, the field visit trips uh, uh, during uh, my that uh, leadership academic program for the MHRD uh, uh, that. Uh, 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 IIT Roorkee has organized, I, I as a co-PI took to the these uh, the participants uh, uh, that uh, to these uh, uh, the Maruti plant uh, and uh, luckily I myself uh, held the hold the visit uh, into uh, the Korea after 4 months. Uh, in 2018 I visited uh, Maruti and 2019. Uh, I visited uh, uh, the Hyundai plant Korea. So, I could compare the both the automobile industries in India and Korea and uh, through these field trips we learn so many things are there and especially the role of the artificial intelligence in automobile industries which I learned from there. Uh, pros and cons of offsite training and team development help the team to improve perception the trust cooperation communication self confidence and the team building is there so whenever we are having this type of these techniques uh, it, it is helping us and the team uh, that, that develops this train this type of training develops the uh, team understanding uh, then the cons are team members may revert to old behaviors over time now now <laughs> the uh, you learn these things 
right uh, and uh, you watch uh, this video and then but uh, when you again go back to uh, your workplace and uh, then there may not be the change in uh, your behavior through my, this lecture. So, therefore, they may revert to old behavior, they do not make the changes learning from this particular uh, this uh, activity. So, team members come and go there by diluting the experience for their group. So, therefore, uh, uh, it is that is the uh, who comes with you for field trip then again uh, somebody else comes. The team members are sometimes exposed to the harm or injury that is also the possibility. That is when you are going for the off joy uh, training. Uh, so, then uh, it will depend on that particular environment. Touch wood uh, uh, I am doing this uh, uh, the uh, off site training myself uh, and the taking the other trainees also uh, since uh, uh, 1986. Uh, so, uh, uh, 35 uh, years right. So, so from 35 years uh, touch wood till today during my this offset training which a number of places uh, continuously doing this thing and, and the training and development and no harm or injury is there. I took the MBA students also to the number of uh, industries. So, that is a part of this. So, therefore, in that case uh, nothing has happened touch wood. But yes, um, that risk is there. So, whenever we are talking of the offsite training in the team development in experiential activities aimed at the building teamwork in the leadership skills. Participants acquire leadership and teamwork skill by confronting physical challenges and exceeding their self imposed uh, uh, the limitations. Emphasis is typically on building not only teamwork, but also self confidence for leadership is there. Yes, I can, I may, I can. So, therefore, you can. Uh, outdoor training uh, enhances teamwork by helping participants examining the process of getting things uh, done through the working with the people. Uh, then the experiential uh, team building games are there. So, there are multiple team building games which can offer various positive aspects for teams. Here are some examples of interesting team building games, two truth and a lie. So, encourage bonding and communication uh, method every team will write two truths and one lie, share statements to other team, other team will uh, uh, decide which is a lie statement and learning of better communication among co-workers and know each other better is there. So, another uh, team building game is the game of possibilities encourage creative thinking and uh, have fun uh, and uh, a, a method a time uh, is given to each group a item is given to each group uh, napkins for example, each person in the group need to stand up and demonstrate the use of item creatively right. So, therefore, it is a creative thinking is there. better communication among co-workers experience different ways to solve problems and the use resource effectively is there. Then the diversity tree is there. So, value and respect diversity at workplace on a flip chart each team need to draw a tree with names uh, uh, and uh, of the members every member need to write encouraging message on the tree uh, and the learning outcomes are instill mutual respect recognition and positive thoughts among the team members is there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, 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 here you will find that is the this type of the feelings are expressed. Uh, experiential uh, each one teach one the pur purpose is the to make team members understand talent and needs of others. Uh, write name of the members with three headings uh, first impression positive traits and suggestion for growth and the paper are folded and mixed uh, uh, in a bowl and in different rounds the every member have to select a paper a write about others and the learning outcomes the activity helps the team members see themselves as others see them and reveals the perception gaps and areas of growth because whenever you are having these uh, first impression positive traits and suggestion for growth right. So, here you will find that is the they, uh, they, they will be getting uh, the each team member will be getting and uh, reveal the perception gaps and the areas of growth it also motivates the members also. Then they recall and share is there share your thoughts uh, sharing of knowledge and working in a team usually played after training event and team have 10 minutes to recall and list as many skills they experience throughout the training team share their opinion and other team may challenge their opinion and encourage teamwork and engagement instructor learn what was important to the group and the how much are retained after the training is there and therefore, this is uh, uh, about the different uh, games uh, and so many games uh, you can refer uh, and uh, play uh, at your workplace right 
and uh, get uh, get uh, uh, yourself as a leader uh, to coordinate these games or you can be also a part of these games and uh, ask uh, your superior to demonstrate on that or the HR department to demonstrate on this particular aspects. The reactions to outdoor team building initiatives in the MBA, uh, MBA education right. So, therefore, in that cases uh, to evaluate the effects of the teamwork attitudes which look at the individual's expectations of and the prior experience with teams and team performance in an outdoor team building initiative with respect to team viability in the classroom is there. So, therefore, this team building in, in MBA education that is becoming very, very important. Uh, results indicate that teamwork attitudes collected before the, uh, uh, the uh, outdoor challenge uh, training are positively associated with team support potency, uh, intentions to remain in the team and the team survival. However, team performance in the initiative was not related to any of the team viability construction is there. So, as usual, there will be also certain limitations, right? Uh, to, and uh, there will be this particular the, uh, the concept which has been used uh, here is there. Uh, and now, mm, this is about this uh, case study, the training the, uh, the underrated uh, checklist is there. Uh, I am sure that this will be also giving you the help uh, and uh, you will be able to answer the questions given at the end of this uh, case study is, uh, how can HR leaders overcome resistance to training? Right. So, many by many people uh, uh, they have the this perception that is that uh, I do not need training or the training is not perfect and training is not required. So, uh, uh, they are not ready to accept the training as such because uh, 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 it is about the understanding of the every individual. So, how offsite training methods are better in organizations like the hospitals are concerned and develop a checklist that would make a process more efficient or safe for your employer or college. What is the best way to train an employee to use your checklist? How would you evaluate your training is there, right? So, therefore, the checklist is there. Um, as usual, the finally, we come to the book recommendation. Right, and uh, these are the team games for the trainers are there. And uh, here, this uh, in in this book, uh, you will find uh, 100 proven interactive games, exercises, and activities are given. Each game is self-contained, filled with the team templates, answer sheets, and clear explanations of the objectives and procedures for the experienced trainers and in, uh, novices. And these games often the rough edges of trying to work together in unfamiliar ways, uh, create an atmosphere of the collegiality, and form a bridge between training information and on the job application create the effective teams with the team games for the trainers is there. So, like these uh, other books also uh, uh, are there and this book uh, will also be helpful to you I am sure that is so you can develop uh, and conduct uh, your own training program at your uh, workplace and increase the team effectiveness right. And these are the references for this particular uh, uh, chapter and uh, uh, session and um, definitely uh, this will be f these references will be useful for your further studies in the detailing is concerned. Thank you.